Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Develop and Unleash Your Trading Instinct. We had a breakdown failure today. I'm really happy this happened. It's gonna be some good content for today's channel. Uh, so we have this 80-20% rule. Sometimes it doesn't work out. This is one of the 20% times, and we'll talk about how we manage that risk today. I didn't make a video Friday, not much happened. We'll cover that too, but let's talk, let's uh, look at my last video that I made on Thursday just to see what I talked about and how I would execute that particular scenario. So let's jump into it, shall we? For the move up higher, we gap down and we're waiting for the 50 minute candle close. And it has to be, you know, it has to be break up or break down candle. So, right, this is a break up candle and then maybe a break down candle. So it's a larger than normal candle. This is a breakdown candle over here. That's what we're looking for. So thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe. That's exactly what we were looking for. We got it, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. It was a failure kind of day today. That's fine, we've been killing it. You could take losses from time to time, but you need to manage those losses. Let's jump into the video, I mean to the charts. Remember, this is not financial advice. I do this for educational and entertainment purposes. Hopefully you learn something. Maybe you make money, maybe you don't. If you want more of this, like, comment, subscribe. I'm also on Patreon, you can join me there if you want more of a personal approach. And we can really dive deep into this analysis. So let's, let's bring up uh, Moderna here on the chart and then let's uh let's start dissecting it like we normally do so here we go moderna on the docket what a beautiful chart and one thing that i've, I've mentioned before is we ha we're having this lower uh higher high scenario right i mean higher lows uh and higher highs higher highs higher highs in my target you know i'm it fills the gap we had a pullback today but my uh, target is still at 384. On Friday, we were looking for a gap down on Friday. We didn't get it. And remember, we had a breakdown candle-ish scenario, but it was invalidated. We didn't short this because we said we, and we needed to open below support. And lo and behold, on Monday we do, trap door opens, floods right we short it and we actually short below the day and i often say time is more important than price and you can see here we just chopped around all morning and at 11 30 i think it was 10 30 11 30 um yes yeah, so we're around 10 30 i saw it just making these higher lows on a on a 5 15 minute chart so i decided to x they cut my losses here uh, you know, for five dollars times sixty is three hundred, and just said, "Hey, the breakdown candle is not happening because we really get follow through on a breakdown candle. We really do get follow through. Like, look, there's this is the first fifteen minute we had follow through, right? Uh, breakdown candle uh, here, right? Uh, you didn't have follow through right away, but it was some kind of bear flight pattern." That was shaping up and this looked like a gap in crap so this is like a breakdown on a high level like this is breakdown on you know a lower so you, you can have more follow through on a higher breakdown than a lower breakdown you see here you know follow through you can see some follow through here so make some good examples not so much but yeah a lot of follow through going here and it really just stopped in reverse uh but at the same time uh we could see this as a bear flag we could see another washout tomorrow that is possible that's not you know off the table but what i'm going to want to see is close above here on a 15 minute 30 minute hourly close i want to be up here back into this range because like we did here right uh we did there was volatility volatility uh, even even on the upside of this thing the same thing's happening here right we're getting that same type of behavior just in a different price channel so i really wanted to see it get back up there uh right now as it stands i am bearish because we're below support this was support 
and pop below it and you see that the floodgates open and just crash. Uh, the market looks likes to make uh, people look like fools and it did to, uh, it did today. And I got stopped out or I just went and stopped. I just closed my position there at around 10, 30, 11 o'clock to limit my losses. And, um, you know, we, we just feel that. So what we could see is it filling the gap here. But right now uh, we're kind of in this weird spot. Uh, what's the predominant pattern is the bear flag. So we could see it go down. So that brings me to my strategy for tomorrow. If we open near, uh, if we open near here, I'm going to wait for the open. Uh, it's, it's not going to be uh, by the open, but I'm going to wait for a breakdown candle and I'm going to take my second shot at shorting it. And the only if we start closing above here, that I'm going to close out my position. And uh, if we if we do have a break up candle, right, I'm not going to buy it on the first close. I'm going to want two or three or four 15 minute closes above this line to confirm that we're going higher. And only if we actually start closing back down here on a 15 minute, 30 minute, right, one hour basis that I'm going to exit my position. Very simple. Those are the two scenarios. One, break down candle in the first 15 minutes, we'll short it. Two, break up candle, but wait, three, four, two, three, 15 minute candle closes above 340 to enter into a uh, bullish position. Go long, long on Moderna. If you stayed this long, let's talk about earnings. Earnings is coming here. It's coming, uh, you know, hard and fast in just a couple of days. So expect some volatility. Normally, we have a buy the news, uh, sell uh, buy the buy the rumor, sell the news. So we could see, you know, Moderna just, just, you know, that's why I'm willing to buy it as long as we get can get back into this channel here that we've created. Because again, I think we may get to three eighty four before earnings. And then we'll get slammed after. That's that's my idea. Um, and a couple of patterns to look out for is um, I, I talked about the bullish scenario, uh, and but the bearish scenario would be if we're, we're some lows here. We could if we open low. If we open low, we could have a breakdown candle, a doji here, and then this would be. The, a buying opportunity. So after this doji or spitting top, so that would be between 9.45 and 10. Once that closes, then I would initiate my buy for a reversal back up, right? And and the same thing here, right? If we pop up, up in this area and we get a doji, it's a good shorting opportunity for a reversal down. Earnings are tricky, so you want to watch out for these patterns, these two patterns. And, and I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm showing you the, the fake out because more often than not, uh, you'll get faked out on earnings. You you know, you have this gap up in this candle and then you'll buy it and he'll just crap out on you. So this is, you know, just is to prepare you for that type of, of scenario. And you use the top as your stop, right? So if you close above here on a 50 minute or a 30 minute candle, uh, and then you can just exit your position manually. The same thing down here, right? If you're going to buy down here, uh, but those are the the two potential scenarios. I think we're going to see this kind of whipsaw fake out behavior. So hopefully you learned something. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow.